Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The only winning move is not to play. That's a famous line from War Games, a movie about a young computer whiz named David, who hacks into a US military supercomputer, designed to simulate nuclear war scenarios. David initially believes he's playing a computer game, but his actions inadvertently prompt the supercomputer to prepare for a real nuclear war. As the situation escalates, with the world on the brink of a nuclear apocalypse, it becomes clear that there is no strategic advantage in nuclear war. Any exchange of nuclear weapons would lead to mutual destruction, known as Mutually Assured Destruction, MAD. MAD is not just something out of Hollywood. It's a real concept that is relevant today. Consider this. Several credible studies and simulations have shown that a nuclear war between Russia and the US could kill more than 90 million people in the first couple of hours of conflict. Over 5 billion people could starve to death in the following months. Historically, the incomprehensible destruction nuclear war would bring to all sides has prevented direct military conflict between the world's largest powers since World War II. MAD is why World War III will probably not be like the previous world wars. Total war between the world's largest powers that reshuffled the international order defined the previous world wars. However, with the advent of nuclear weapons, total war between the largest powers today, Russia, China and the US, means a nuclear Armageddon, where there are no winners and only losers. That could still happen despite nobody wanting it, but it's not the most likely outcome. World War III is unlikely to be a direct kinetic war between the US, Russia and China. Instead, the conflict will play out on different levels, proxy wars, economic wars, financial wars, cyber wars, biological wars, deniable sabotage, and information wars. In that sense, World War III is already well underway, even though most don't recognize it. Here's the bottom line. Russia, China, and their allies want to change the US-led world order that has been in place since the end of World War II. The conflict is playing out on a level that is below the threshold of direct kinetic warfare because that could invite a nuclear Armageddon. Nonetheless, it is a conflict between the biggest global powers to determine the world order, like the previous world wars. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. It's important to remember that world orders are nothing new. World orders are how the big global powers have set the rules of the game for centuries. They are simply the architecture for international political relations between countries. On a smaller scale, it's similar to when the most powerful criminal groups in a given city, like mafias and street gangs, come together and agree on how to divide their activities and neighborhoods among themselves. Sooner or later, though, these agreements always break down. Then, there is a violent power struggle, until the criminal groups reach a new agreement reflecting the new power balance. A similar dynamic is at play with the most powerful countries and world orders. Conflicts among the most powerful countries typically lead to a breakdown and restructuring in the world order. Here is a brief overview of some of the most recent world orders. You can think of them as epochs or distinctive historical periods, reflecting the shifting power balance among global players. Peace of Westphalia, 1648-1803. This agreement ended the Thirty Years' War and set the framework for international relations in Europe for over two centuries, by preserving the balance of power among major European powers. It brought together the Holy Roman Empire, Spain, France, Sweden, the Dutch Republic, and various German territories. 
This world order largely lasted until the outbreak of the Napoleonic Wars, which led to the need for a new international arrangement among the big powers. Congress of Vienna, 1814-1914 The military defeat of French Emperor Napoleon I led to this world order. It enshrined the British as the dominant global power. The Congress of Vienna formed the basis for European international politics until the outbreak of World War I in 1914. Treaty of Versailles, 1919-1939 The victors of World War I created this world order, which featured institutions like the League of Nations. It broke down after Germany, Italy and Japan tried to overturn it and make their own world order during World War II. The current US-led world order, 1945 to today. The Allies crafted the current world order in the aftermath of World War II, with the US as the leader. It features institutions like the United Nations, the World Bank, and the International Monetary Fund, all located in the US. The current world order has been largely unipolar, with the US exercising significant influence over international policies and decision-making. Today, its evident global power is shifting, as the current US-led world order is breaking down at an accelerating pace, as World War III unfolds. Changes to the world order are historical events with enormous investment implications. That's why it's crucial to sift through the noise and propaganda, to put the pieces together correctly, to see the true geopolitical big picture. Countless millions throughout history were wiped out financially, or worse, as the world order changed, because they failed to see the correct big picture and take appropriate action. But what if you get the big picture right as the world order changes? You can avoid disaster and set yourself up to potentially make life-changing profits. It's a rare fortune-building opportunity for those who understand what is happening and make the right moves today. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.